um, I will also um, take this opportunity to briefly um, mention uh, NPTEL, although uh, I don't uh, uh, see NPTEL uh, coordinators here. Uh, of course, it is not required because uh, everybody knows about NPTEL, but briefly, um, I think um, I, I will uh, explain its importance with a small story. Uh, there was a uh, uh, lot of uh, publicity uh, for when Stanford came and said that uh, Stanford engineering for everyone or something like that. They released some 13 courses and uh, everybody was talking about it. And there was a group that said, um, uh, this I'm talking about uh, something that happened in 2008 or something like that, 2007, 2008 time frame. Okay? And uh, this group said, uh, how come so many people are talking about Stanford uh, courses? Is this the only program that's uh, you know, offering such a you know, set of courses? They did a survey and found um, first one, I think it was Berkeley, second one was uh, I think uh, Yale or, um, uh, or uh, MIT's OCW. Uh, these two, they are, so let me say second was uh, Yale, third was uh, MIT's OCW and then they said, hey, what is this thing called NPTEL? That was the fourth, okay? At the time, NPTEL had not even uploaded all its 120 video courses. I'm talking about the first phase. There were about 120 video courses, 120 uh, web courses. Out of the 120, only 50 had been uploaded. Still, this was ranked fourth at that time. And then the Stanford thing came fifth. So they said, it's just that it shows that we don't publicize and people don't know enough about our program. But the NPTEL uh, program has come a long way now. Uh, I think there are close to 1,000 courses, each course having about uh, 40 lectures. And it is a, <clears throat> it's a fantastic uh, effort. And uh, I thought that for completeness sake, I will uh, mention this here. Uh, I already showed the NPTEL uh, website to you. Uh, there is an NPTEL stall here. I would like you to uh, go and uh, visit that. So that brings me uh, to uh, the last uh, of the projects, Spoken Tutorials uh, 1203. I think we are not too far away from the time. So I will take that five minutes for uh, talking about Spoken Tutorial also. Um, so uh, we actually started Spoken Tutorial as a, a documentation project. Um, I told you that uh, open source software, that's what we started with. We said that one way to uh, popularize open source software is uh, to create documentation. And a convenient way is to ask an expert to run through a session explaining, giving a running commentary of whatever he or she does, record the whole thing and release it as a video. That's how it started. Okay, it's a whole session, so people will know what all you have done. So they will know, otherwise you write a documentation, it takes a lot of effort to do that. You know, so many screenshots have to be created, inserted in a PDF file, it takes a lot of time. Whereas this is a lot easier way to do it, it the software automatically creates the video and gives it. Then we said, uh, in most colleges we found that there are, you know, too many people who actually want to learn and the experts are very few. So we said, how do we make use of these beginners? So we said that, let a beginner certify that the video that we create is actually something that can be accessed by some other beginner. So for that, we wrote a script. For every tutorial, we write a script, pass it through a novice check. A novice has to certify that it is indeed working. So only then we accept it for recording, we record it and so on. Because of this, self-learning nature, it is, we are able to organize workshops even without uh, 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 teachers, without experts. Uh, the workshops are uh, happening in about uh, 5,000 
colleges in the country. Um, 5,000 colleges have signed up with us. I know that in 1,000 of them, the workshops are actually happening. They are active uh, centers. And uh, we have trained until now about 8 lakh uh, students. We will probably train about 7, 8 lakh students in this year alone. Uh, training means it's a two-hour workshop. We call it self spoken tutorial based education and learning through free for study workshops. Okay? So in that workshop, the students learn how to learn from the spoken tutorial and then they download and take it. Uh, by the way, all the uh, content created by the ministry, by the mission, are created and re released under CCBYSA. That is Creative Commons, Attribution, Share Alike. Okay, that means anybody can use it free of cost. Only thing is they have to say that they took it from here. And in case they modify it, they have to release the modified con content also under the same license. Subject to that, you can do anything. People can even sell it. We can make money out of that and so on and so forth. Previously, we used to have something called NC, non-commercial, that the ministry removed saying that if that is going to help people, a lot, lot more people using it, let it be. So it be and then um, so be it and then that is how it uh, started. So now it is released under CC BYSA. It is an amazing thing. For a long time, it was felt that India has not contributed much to open source software, but through our project, uh, we are doing it. The other uh, important thing about spoken tutorial is we dub the spoken part into all Indian languages. So you can see that these are some of the topics on which spoken tutorials are available. Uh, there are about 30, 35 of them. And these are all dubbed into uh, all Indian languages. Um, there are about uh, 650 in English. And then you have in more than, uh, I think about 15 languages, we have 100 plus tutorials already dubbed in some languages like Hindi, Marathi, um, Tamil, Bengali, um, Gujarati and so on. Uh, we have uh, you know, close to 400 or close to 500 tutorials already dubbed. In fact, I would say that ours is probably the largest um, collection of um, instructional material in all Indian languages uh, guaranteeing the same quality. Because remember it is created for self-learning. We dub only the spoken part, not the video. And uh, that allows people to still uh, aspire for it, employment in uh, uh, IT companies like TCS, Infosys and so on because they use normal computers, normal keyboard and so on. And uh, I of course also believe that uh, uh, just because somebody is not fluent in English, it is not that they are not smart. Um, I did all my schooling in Tamil medium. When I went to IIT Madras to do my BTEC, I had a hell of a time. Okay, I can assure you that, how the 16 year old guys treat somebody who does not speak proper English. And um, of course, I had an opportunity to, to come up to their level, but unfortunately, this may not happen to many of our brethren. So even if we cannot do much about other things, at least from employment point of view, can we create this opportunity? And one of the things that, that is not said in, uh, you know, that is implicit in all our projects is the reason why our projects are successful is that all the PIs of our mission projects are very passionate. As uh, Professor Mazumdar said, you know, why on, I mean, why do people do this? Because we are all mad. We are all <laughs> mad people, okay? Okay, another way to say that is we are passionate and we are able to transfer that passion to our managers, senior managers, who in turn transfer it to their uh, managers, junior managers and staff members and that is the, and given full freedom. That is the only reason why this has succeeded. So uh, to come back, uh, I was very passionate about the languages and by the way here you see that policy on adoption of open source software for government of India. In fact, the government of India has made open source software as a policy that it should be used uh, wherever possible. And in fact, they go on to the extent of saying that if somebody wants to use commercial software, they have to first prove that open source software will not do the work, which is going to make it very difficult. And 
I believe that the number of large numbers of people whom we train here are uh, going to be very useful for this uh, national effort of ours. So uh, I would want uh, the spoken tutorial team members to uh, just stand up. <coughs> So we have uh, two big groups. One is the creation group. The other is the uh, events or training group. We have um, Nancy, who is the senior manager for uh, the creations. Uh, so I told you about uh, 655 tutorials have been made and total of 4,500 including all dubbing and so on. So Nancy heads that effort. Um, can, the, can the creation team sit? I want the uh, events team, training team to just be, yeah, training team, uh, once again, they're all busy. Um, so they are the people who help organize these uh, workshops all over the country. And uh, they uh, put together these uh, 86 colleges in a very short time. So thank you. Yeah. So we will now have some uh, sharing their views by partners. Yeah. Uh, I would just like to add one thing. You mentioned about madness. The madness actually prevails all across. So there was a visitor in my office about a couple of years ago, spent a couple of days, and he observed that madness. And he wrote a very interesting line on my board. He says, you don't have to be crazy to work in this place, but it helps. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, we have to leave. I have MTech defenses and the dean has some meetings. Thank you, Professor Kamil. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so what we will do now is uh, there are visitors, uh, partners of our uh, projects. So I would want uh, them to uh, maybe one person, one or two people from each institution. Uh, a faculty member to um, stand up and say in what project they are working on. And um, so, Professor Madhavan, are you going? I want uh, Professor Madhavan to say a few words. Uh, he um, uh, is uh, our senior colleague at uh, Chemical Engineering Department. We work in the same field. So, I want him to say a few words. Uh, welcome to all. I am a relic from the post in a pre digital era. So. I may not have much to tell, but you know, knowledge is power. And digital platform enabled to integrate that knowledge, consolidate that, and use it for creative purpose, which Kannan and his team are doing. I'm sure that digital platform will help us to achieve many things, and all the best to all of you. And best of luck, Kannan, Thank for you. your efforts. Thank, Thank you. you very much. So Professor Madhavan was a senior colleague when I joined IIT Bombay. So I'm really happy that he could make it here. Uh, so we will have, uh, uh, we will have uh, visitors. I can see Professor Savant. Let's start from Professor Savant. You want to say a few words? Hello. Uh, I'm Dr. Rajendra Savant. Uh, in fact, uh, we started working with Spoken Tutorial Project somewhere uh, five uh, years back when I was uh, working in a rural college uh, somewhere around 600 kilometers away from this place. And it was a backward uh, kind of place where the uh, graduate uh, enrollment ratio is uh, below 10. And uh, there, was an <coughs> there was an engineering college uh, which uh, are short of faculty in some basic courses. And once upon a time, because I am alumni from this place, IIT Bombay, for MTech and PhD degrees, so I used to come here uh, to meet my guide and some uh, work related to projects. So once upon a time, I met Kannan in some program. And then he invited me to come to office. I met him in the office, and I was inspired by him uh, with the kind of work which uh, he has done. He has demonstrated also some spoken tutorials to me. And thereafter, the journey started. All of uh, the college where nearly 700 students are, uh, uh, are uh, actually uh, uh, working there, uh, studying there. So all 700 students were 
give a training on C, C++, Python, and uh, other stuff like LaTeX. Uh, for postgraduate students, sir, also LaTeX was helpful. And uh, the, uh, my experience of five years was it was fantastic that the spoken tutorial project is uh, giving us a lot of uh, inputs and a lot of uh, training. For the rural students, especially. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, is there anybody else? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. From LHD Stop Technology, we are uh, working uh, with IIT Bombay on this Ask Question. And uh, last three years, we are uh, using this facility. It's really uh, wonderful. Our especially our student and especially our staff are getting a lot of benefit because, you know, uh, if there are any questions, they can attend this program and ask some uh, questions. So I think. Uh, uh, but this uh, project has to be extended to some remote location, which uh, that's my thought process. And uh, but we are we are benefiting out of this. Thank you. So let me uh, <coughs> just explain what ask a question is. Sorry, <coughs> we didn't. Uh, in the short time, we were not able to explain all the projects that we are working on. <coughs> ask a question is a program that uh, uh, our team has been doing for. Um, I think we have finished. Uh, uh, how many 250 sessions in uh, electrical engineering and um, yeah it's five years five years it's yeah 250 programs and then physics we have done 50 uh, sessions so a session means it happens once a week uh, one hour every Thursday four to five uh, it was inaugurated by the then uh, minister Honorable uh, Minister um, Sri Kapil Sibal in, uh, I think it was in 2010, 2010, 2010 um, uh, in the, on the Education Day, National Education Day, it was inaugurated. So the idea is the following, uh, even smart students have, uh, you know, questions sometimes and they may have questions only in a small uh, subject matter, let us say 5 percent of the things they may not understand, 2 percent of the things they may not understand and there is nobody to help them, nobody to ask these questions and if they post a question in let us say Yahoo or somewhere, some other portals, they will get answer but what is the guarantee that that answer is correct. So we thought that if, um, yeah, so the only option available to them to get the, get those difficult questions answered is to join some coaching class. Why that 2 percent, 5 percent is important is because those are difficult concepts and in competitive exams, they will, there will be questions from those topics and if they do not do well, they will not clear those. So they have to, they are forced to go to uh, coaching classes and so on and now first of all, there are two problems. First of all, they have to pay lots of money which many people cannot afford, that is the first thing. The second thing is even for the people who go to these coaching classes, they have to learn all the 98 percent because the coaching class does not know what this guy already knows. So they, in order to learn the 2 percent, they have to you know put in 50 times the effort to learn the whole thing. So why do not we set up a session in which students will ask questions and our people will answer them. So uh, that was ask a question. Do we have any staff members here of ask a question here? Okay, they are all here, they are all outside, um, please visit the stall and they are the, in fact, they are the people who, uh, they and the T10, T10 KT team together uh, organize the entire stalls and so on. Okay, so now that I have made amends for uh, not talking about ask a question and we have a partner from there, we will move on. Is there any other uh, person who would like to talk about their experience? Uh, uh, please keep it brief. Uh, yeah, it will be brief, sir. Yeah. Good afternoon. Uh, we are actually the TKT NKT uh, remote center for this uh, from IIT Bombay. Uh, we, our staff have uh, actually got uh, very well uh, benefited from these programs. Uh, we have actually covered around 14 to 15 uh, workshops. So, where are you from? I am from Theme College of Engineering, sir. RCAD 1172. This is in Mumbai? Yeah, it is, it is in the suburbs of Mumbai, sir. Okay. It is in district uh, Palga right now. Okay. And uh, we are also these Akash center, sir. So many of our students have developed many applications uh, uh, on this Akash uh, Android tablets and all. 
so they have also got benefited and this moodle through moodle we have very good interactive sessions and all and it is very useful for us okay thank you is there anyone else yeah. who would like yeah, you have a student yeah, from, uh, yeah. competition and he was joining us yeah yeah let him do that. My name is Abhishek Shanbhag and I'm a student from uh, the University of Mumbai. Um, I'd like to talk about my experience with e-yantra. So, um, what, like, it all started with, you know, workshops in our, uh, which they conducted, which ID Bombay conducted in our college and, um, like, you know, um, there's always this fear among, um, early, uh, or, uh, so I've noticed in um, engineering colleges, is that students, they, ha they have no idea uh, where to begin their uh, projects from? Uh, wh what to? Uh, what? Uh, what I need to do to like you know achieve the goal that I that I have in mind. So uh, it was these um, workshops that we that they conducted that gave us the initial uh, push. You know, s so we could start uh, working on our projects. And then there was this competition which um, brought to which brought together so, uh, all col uh, all colleges from India to one place. And then we under we had this sort of idea, you know, where we exactly stand. Um, when it comes to the amount of knowledge we have and the amount of uh, experience we can gain in the future, so um, that was—I uh, mean, that, that is one, one uh, uh, really wonderful experience that Eantra gave us, uh, especially in uh, embedded systems and robotics. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, is there anybody else uh, like to share? You want to? Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, I'm Dr. Deshmukh from uh, Thakur College of Science and Commerce. I'm a nodal coordinator for Virtual Lab. Very happy to say that we have benefited almost, I think, more than 500 students till now through the Virtual Lab. And basic concepts in even biology, physical sciences, chemistry, you know, it is encom encompassing not only engineering sciences, but also other sciences. They're wonderful. I have got my students also who are there to uh, uh, witness this Digital India Week program. And I'm sure they're all happy if you could stand. My students, there are, I think, more than 10 students who wanted to be a witness of this program. Uh, they're very happy uh, with uh, the animations and simulations, especially. Okay. Some of the basic concepts are very clear with that. Also, I stand here in the capacity of a participant of uh, uh, Environmental Science uh, Workshop T10 KT, uh, where I've received uh, knowledge as a participant through Thakur College of Engineering and Sciences. I'm very okay. happy about it. Okay, thank, thank you. you so much. Myself, Amit, the PGT Computer Science, KVIT Pavi. The spoken tutorial team con conducted various workshops for teachers as well as the students, especially its software, chemistry, physics, and computer science, JCAM Lab, Expressis, and uh, P Python, Moodle. These are very useful for school education also. So we are also using this. So thank okay. you, sir. Thank you. So that was a computer faculty member in the Kendri Vidyalay IIT Bombay. Yes. So we are happy that uh, we have representation from a faculty member. Yes, thank you. Uh, do, the, do any of the students want to say anything? We have KV students. Anyone bold enough to say a few words? No? Um, first of all, I would like to thank uh, my sir who has given this opportunity to me to uh, witness such programs. Um, standing here, I think that these are very important things for my future. And uh, some of the things that you mentioned, like the tutorials and all these things, they are very essential for learning many new things. And some things which are uh, not only about me, I'm fo very fortunate to have these uh, facilities, but I'm also talking about the other people that uh, may not uh, have such good conditions. So, thank you. <coughs> uh, you want to say something? Just pass the mic there. I am G.S. Singh from Sophia College. Uh, we are part of the spoken tutorial. And uh, along with the, uh, we are running the BSCIT there. So along with that, I am telling our student to uh, do the some certificate course. So the moment they will do their TY, at least five or six certificate courses will be there. So it will uh, give them a better opportunity to work in the IT industry. I'm really thanks to Sopnil sir, uh, who is helping a lot in that one to conduct this course. Thank you, sir. Thank you. One second. Hmm? 
Almost done. Uh, hello, everybody. I am from Thakur College, and we are resource center for spoken tutorials. Um, last year, I conducted about 10 workshops on different courses there. Uh, most important thing is uh, our MSc computer science students participated in Scilab workshop, and they were very uh, happy to know about uh, Scilab open source, which is uh, which is uh, available as a choice as an alternative to MATLAB. And um, inspiring from there, s we have changed syllabus of University of Mumbai. I'm working on the syllabus committee member also, and now the new syllabus is approved by University of Mumbai, and there we have introduced Scilab software instead of using MATLAB. Okay. So that okay. what a change we uh, will be implementing from this academic year. Thank you, Thank sir. You. You want to say something? Yeah. Hello, everybody. I'll not take much of time. Uh, so I am a lecturer at uh, SM Shetty College, Powai, which is just nearby. And uh, since like two or three years, we are conducting spoken tutorials in, Sky, in Scilab, in PHP, and in Java. So like uh, uh, they are organized very nicely. Even I have visited uh, all the tutorials with respect to Java. And it is helping the students as a level of the kind of an, uh, uh, process or the thing which we uh, expect at industrial level. As an academician, there is always some limitations, as Professor Patak just discussed, that we have a short time tenure. So we may not be able to give the kind of knowledge we really also wanted to give because of some time uh, less as compared to the syllabus. So spoken tutorial is helping a lot in uh, overcoming this barrier when it comes to students. And I'm very thankful to Vidya Kadam, ma'am, who's helping us a lot in making this successful. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Pass the mic. Hello, sir. Good morning to everyone. I'm, uh, I came here from uh, the Institution of Engineers, India. And my student group is different from uh, all other uh, other coordinators over here, they are from the company uh, working people and uh, government sector peoples. They are uh, from different age groups also. Some have completed their diploma, some are working since from 20 years in a company or in a government sector. So due to that institution, they used to complete their AMI <coughs> degree and um, while completing that degree, uh, they used to uh, phase, uh, means uh, attend these uh, such type of courses. Uh, open source tutor tutorial is there. So uh, with the help of uh, spoken tutorial, um, uh, they, they, they are able to cover their C and C++ programming, uh, mo uh, most major part from C and C++ programming. And uh, such uh, so how these courses are useful, that also they come to know from these courses. Thanks a lot for Thank IIT Pavai. Thank you. <clears throat> Anyone else? You want to say? Hello. Hello. Sir, I am Professor Chatre from the Soma Engineering College. Actually, I am working on the, previously I am working on the Python and uh, bridged with uh, or interface with uh, Arduino cards, different types of cards, Mega and Uno. But problem with the, I, what I faced, I am explaining to all actually. It basically, the Python is not having as such the GUI builder. That is what I'm facing the problem, one problem. Another freely available as such. Uh, so we may have to, maybe we can try to develop some GUI builder for the Python itself. So I would want you to, uh, we are working on the Scilab Arduino. The team is there in the Fosse stall. Uh -huh. I would yeah. like you to, in fact, we are looking at uh, controlling uh, Arduino Uno from uh -huh. Python yes, also. Yes, 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 sir. We would very much love to talk to you. And then actually, then I shifted with the process. Actually, the processing 2.0, which is a language generated by the MIT, is the one of the very powerful language. It has the image processing, controlling, audio interfacing, RFID, Bluetooth. Every interfacing is there in the processing 2.0. I mean, 2.2.7 actually it is on which I am working, and that has a basically GUI builder with a control P5 or maybe a G4P. But there are also some lacunas in that. In that, they are, what, that is what I am facing now. So we can discuss it later. Yeah, because not also, everybody will be interested yeah, in yeah, this. Yeah. But we can go to yeah. this talk. That, that is the open source language. All the processing yeah. and testing are open source language. Professor so, Kavi Arya wanted to say something. <clears throat> uh, 
So this is just an, invi an invitation for any of the colleges here who have not, uh, not engaged with e-antra yet. We'd be very happy to work with more uh, colleges in Bombay. And I noticed that uh, KVIT school is doing some things with some of the projects here. Uh, we're quite happy to explore uh, playing around with robotics with you guys, if you're interested. OK, so you can uh, speak to us offline. Uh, okay. Can you pass the mic there? Thank you, Kavi. I'm from Ruparil College, who has become the resource center for the spoken tutorial. We had conducted workshop for the faculties, and uh, almost uh, though there was reading heavily, that 25 colleges faculties reported to that particular workshop. Now, uh, when we are uh, introduce, uh, introducing these types of workshops, there is a huge requirement from the pure science people that why there is no uh, workshops you are conducting on uh, some sort of a software which would be freely available for the simulation in physics or chemistry or. Uh, some biological concepts, so which they could use it into their uh, classrooms, where they can show some simulations on laptop projector, and they can uh, deploy that particular concept very well in the classroom itself. So, is is there any kind of a uh, venture which would have uh, by IIT Bombay where we will start this kind of activity in various colleges? Because uh, most of the colleges which are there in Mumbai are uh, from <laughs> commerce, art, science background, not rather than engineering. So even there is that particular uh, requirement from uh, these colleges. So good question. In fact, we have Dr. Snehalata Kaliyapun here. Uh, can you please stand up? Yeah. So she is actually. We have for pure sciences. So we have for chemistry. Can you just one second? Just give the mic. So we have for chemistry something called as uh, JMOL, which is a free open source software for uh, 3D visualization of molecules, uh, small molecules as well as uh, you know, macromolecules such as DNA or any protein structure. So you, we have may, uh, created around 11 tutorials for that. So you can go through that and we do cre um, actually uh, conduct workshops. And we have something for physics also, just started. So the scholars X Spice, uh, and we have mathematics scholars GeoGebra. So we do uh, have. She is also beginning the work on uh, BioPython. Yeah, yeah. Bio so we are uh, we are acutely aware of this. Only thing is, uh, we need more people to create this. And then uh, one of the problems that all the projects face in IIT is the shortage of space. We are unable to recruit more staff members. That's the biggest problem in Mumbai. Okay, in even more so, of course, I would like to point out that IIT has been very generous in giving space to accommodate 300 staff members, but uh, the need is much bigger. We need, but it is happening, we are aware of it. Uh, in fact, we want to do something for commerce. Um, front accounting is what we are looking at. And then uh, we are looking at, um, you know, uh, statistics. R is another thing, uh, acutely uh, uh, in need of it, we need to address all of this. So uh, we have uh, Dr. Uh, Snehalata, who will look after this science thing. It's really incredible to see, uh, you know, visualize a benzene molecule rotated. And sometimes you see, talk about uh, this um, reason why some kinetics happens, pathways and so on. And you say that, you know, sometimes you say that, hey, this thing is so far away, how come this influences the other end? But if you actually visualize it, this thing bends around and it comes so close not touching each other, okay, long chain, but they are actually very close. So all these things become very easy when you look at it and some of these uh, software uh, systems are amazing, open source, and they even run, our, uh, run on our uh, laptop, which is a 6,000 uh, uh, rupee laptop that we have come up with. And, you know, even in such a, you know, simplest, low, lowest cost, Laptops, all these things can be made available and they are exceedingly useful. Thanks for asking that question. Yeah, thank you. Actually, we are doing for biology a lot many uh, open source software programs. So in, in a short period of time, you may see those. Thank okay, you. thank you. So are there uh, any more uh, comments by any of the visitors? I just thought that because people have come from long distances, they could say a few words. You are there? Just give them. University uh, from Polytechnic College. 
we conduct spoken tutorial workshops in our college it helps a lot because uh, it saves time and also we added a uh, the, the substitution for uh, substitution for uh, matlab that's the scilab in our curriculum as well c c++ uh, in our curriculum because uh, these videos help students a lot and it saves a time uh, and thank you to vidya ma'am she coordinates very well with us to, and uh, she helps a lot to organize these workshops thank you Okay, so if there is uh, nobody else, so I would like to thank. Let's all uh, stand up and sing our national anthem and then close. I don't know. Is it here? Yeah, let's. Somebody search for it. <laughs> <laughs>